Well, it's about that time again. It's time for me just to let out what I'm about to say. But before I have to talk about what I'm about to discuss, or what you you can already tell by the title, I just want to want to talk about. I wish you guys had a good Christmas like I do. Uh, I did have a really good Christmas. This is an opening present just to spend time with the family. And we always do uh, celebrate Christmas just to just to just for Jesus Christ. The, the Father, the Son, the, whole, the Holy Spirit. The reason why we celebrate Christmas is just for, just for Jesus Christ. Because he's, he's the reason for the season. Now, because I'm now since uh, 2017 is about to come to an end. I want you guys, I want you guys to know why 2017 is one of the worst years of my life. Very, very worse of my life. Because so many people passed away from the past. People from the past who are now passed away from this year. Like Mr. Scott Hinman from uh, Irvine High School, who is a swimming, a swimming uh, girls uh, water, water polo teacher. On March 29th uh, this year, he, he collapsed on the on the water polo uh, meetup and I probably feel bad for him and he surely will be missed and his family will miss him too and then uh, and then the big moment where my uncle Lawrence uh, passed away on May 29th on Memorial Day uh, Memorial Day 2017 and he was uh, 40 years old and uh, he he had a heart attack yeah he, he he had a heart attack at a very young age and and he and his wife uh, passed away and he has two kids and now these two kids don't have parents now but luckily I gave him a gift which is an Xbox and video games and the controller and they, they thank me very much. And then Chester Benetton, who is a lead singer of uh, Lincoln Park, who committed suicide, which is pretty bad. Committed suicide is really bad. I would never do that, ever. Ever in my life. I just want to enjoy life as much as possible. But I do feel bad for Chester Benetton, because I don't know why he hanged himself on July 20th. I don't know why on earth would he do that. But now, now everything is starting to get dark where my great grandmother, my great grandma, Grandma Ting, who passed away on October 20th, she was over in the Philippines. She was almost 100 years old. And, and my dad was crying about her. Now he's, um, uh, he will um, think of her every day because my dad thinks thinks about a lot about Uncle Lawrence and my great grandmother team now now this month angry grandpa died who I don't know because I don't think he died in cancer I'm, I don't really know the whole story because uh, Teresa loves Michael Jackson and Harry Sykes told me that he did not die in cancer I don't remember I don't remember what he died for I don't know but I definitely feel bad for him I definitely feel bad for him grandpa other people uh, passed away too from the past like Don Rickles and Peter Salas who is a voice of Wallace and Gromit as you guys that don't know who he is but I explained to you guys right now and I definitely feel bad for for everyone who from the past are now gone and I'm afraid I hope things won't get worse like the same in 2018 that's not the only thing that I don't like there's another thing that I don't like which is I don't know how big 
uh, YouTubers are. All these new new YouTubers that are popped up when I go to watch some YouTube videos. I don't even know who on earth are they. Like Jake Paul and Markiplier and Joy Grasso. This guy is a freaking... He's a jerk. I don't know why. I don't know why when I go search up in the internet and I see this guy... Oh, like just to pop up in my screen and I just add like the escape tonight. I don't even know. I don't even want to watch that because this guy's a jerk anyway. I say Joey Grasfa should. He should look back at his videos what for what he's doing. And he should learn how to be a real man like I did, like I am because I'm a. I'm a buff guy sometimes. I'm not that tough. <laughs> But but seriously though, I'm I'm a grown man, and I'm not as brave as other men do. But but I think Joey should be a man, not a not a girl. He should be a he should be a man, not a girl at all. And not only that, not only does I hate these uh, big YouTubers, I actually don't like what's going on, like the dank memes. Oh boy. I right, let me tell you, they make they make things from the past just to ruin it. Nowadays like um Shrek is love, Shrek is life. Please please don't tell me that they ruined Shrek. Because I saw Shrek when I was like uh Little Cat it's a really good film. I definitely recommend it. But I don't know freaking why do they ruin it in the pop rip inappropriate sorry about that I just uh, had a little hard time speaking but that's okay it's it's just normal and what's worse about the these videos because the vine was around at that time people start making the uh, childhood ruined uh, vine compilations and that that made me upset and I, I feel very offended because they put, because they made the, the videos of the clips of the movies or TV shows, and they put, and these, these teenagers put their audio, saying they're inappropriate uh, stuff and saying and put it their audio, and make that as as while they're talking, and I don't think it's freaking funny. I wish I. I wish they stopped this, but I know, I know you might think uh, Josiah, it's just, just ignore it. I, I get that. I know not all people has their own opinion, because I know Vine and memes just to make people laugh, but I'm not the only one laughing, because I don't know why these teenagers went up to their computers and just to ruin it. Just why? Could someone please tell me why is this going is this going on through the YouTube community? But uh I can't I can't judge anyone. I, I can't really judge anyone at all. But I'm just saying in my opinion though, I just don't know why these people are making those uh, type of videos that I and I feel kind of offended a little bit because I do love my childhood. As you guys don't really know. I have a really good childhood. When I was like a little kid, I enjoyed it very much. But now when I hit 13, it starts to lose. It starts to lose up. And that's why I feel pretty stressed. Pretty stressed out. And I wish I, I wish everything's back to normal. I wish I should have got a time machine for Christmas and select that time where I've been wanting to go. You know what I mean? So that's my that's my review on 2017. I hate it very much. I hate it so much, like not like as uh, 2016, but. Hopefully, I hope it'll feel better in 2018. I 
I hope I will look forward to for an, an, a new year, like a better year. Because uh, I hope um, I hope not as many people or celebrities from the past who will pass away back in 2000, it will in 2018. I hope not. I hope this won't happen uh, in 2018. But I know it's part of life. I had to get that. But I hope this won't happen. Because so far we got so many people who passed away. So many. Oh my gosh, you guys. Five years. Five years of YouTube. I've been doing this for like a, like a while now. Well, not not a while for like five years. It's it's a very long journey. This this channel is pretty old, but I'll tell you what, I'm I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up at all. Because I just I'm here just to entertain you guys and just to just be friends with everyone. You know what I mean? I just I just love you guys. I love you guys very much, and I hope God will bless you. So that's it. That's. That's my review on 2017. I hope, I hope this will, this will get get better in 2018. I, I hope. I pray to, I pray to God. I hope everything will get better in 2018. 2018. The reason why I say 2018 is because a lot of teenagers keep saying 2018, which I don't want to say that because as a normal person, I like to say 2018. So I, I'm planning to make a dancing video like tomorrow, and I'll and I'm gonna go see Star Wars: The Last Jedi before New Year's Eve. So I hope um, things will get um, pretty much fun. So I hope I'm um, I'm sorry if I haven't made a dancing video for like a while because I might because I was pretty busy with other things. I had I had a very good Christmas. Just spent time with the family. Like I said, but I promise I will make a dancing video for 2017, which is like the very last dancing video for 2017, just to end off the year. <sighs> I feel good. It's feel good just to let out your feelings. What's your topic about? Well. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. And I hope you guys uh, have a really good uh, Happy New Year. Well, it's not New Year's Eve uh, day yet, but it will. Maybe like a couple days until the end. So, so I'll see you guys, in the, see you guys uh, later on the next video. So. See you later, guys. I love you very much. From the bottom of my heart. May God bless you.